Welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is a hot one here in Western PA. It's about 87 degrees, a little bit humid. Later this week though, I think it's supposed to cool down mid 70s, which would be pretty nice. Anyway, today I'm down here at the sawmill. I just finished sawing one of those red pine logs into some siding. And next on the agenda, I need to head out into the woods. I'm gonna fill up some deer feeders. I'll take the tractor and a pallet of corn out and do that. But that's not what today's video is about. I have been curious for a while, and I think I know the answer to this, but uh, how many of you out there are early risers? You know, you like to get up real early in the morning. Let me know in the comments, or let me know if you like to sleep in. There's no right or wrong answer. Everybody's different. But for me, I came up with five reasons that I like to get up early. Now, I wasn't always like that. You know, when I was in my 20s, I like to sleep in, but the older that I get, the earlier that I seem to wake up each day. I don't know why, and I love it. I do, and I have five reasons why it's beneficial for me. And you know, everybody's different, had different sleep patterns and things like that. I don't really sleep that much. Usually around five to six hours a night, I really can't sleep any more than that. They say you should probably, you know, they say eight hours or seven hours of sleep. I can't. I, I It's probably been since I was in my teens or early 20s that I slept that much. Nowadays, it's five or six hours a night. But the first reason that I like to get up real early is my mind is very clear and I'm very focused and I have lots of energy first thing in the morning. Now from there, the rest of the day, it's kind of downhill, you know, but usually when I get home from work, I get another little burst of energy. But most days I have my most energy and I'm most f focused first thing in the morning. As a matter of fact, that's when I do all my editing of the videos. Uh, I can really focus and just knock stuff out. I send emails, 
just take care of a whole bunch of stuff in the morning and uh, it's it's just the way I do it. It works really well for me. Matter of fact, when I'm editing a video, say I start at 4.30 in the morning, uh, I can get it all wrapped up, uploaded. I mean, there's a lot to all that. You know, you see these videos and think you just throw them together. It takes a lot of time. But in the morning, most videos I can knock out in about an hour and a half or two hours at the max. Now, if I try doing that in the evening, I'll never get it done. I just, my mind kind of wanders and uh, it just takes forever. Next thing you know, I'm on Facebook or doing something else or surfing the internet, then back to the video. But in the morning, I am zero focused. So that's number one reason that I like to get up early in the morning. I'm very focused and lots of energy. The second reason I like to get up early in the morning is there's very little distraction. Now, Melissa, she gets up early, but she goes to the gym. The kids are still asleep. The dogs are still asleep. Now, Hunter, he gets up around 6.30, something like that. But from 4.30 to 6.30 in the morning, I don't have any distractions at all. And no matter what task I'm working on, I can be really, really efficient without all those distractions. The third reason that I like to get up early is we all have things that we have to do, and we also have things that we want to do. So what I like to do is early in the morning, knock out some of those things that I have to do, and that allows you know time later in the day for the things that I want to do. What do you think, Ty? Well, you're 10 feet away. That's good. And you're in the tractor. So that's good, right? Right. Ty's 10 foot roll. TT. And here comes Hannah running up a storm. What are you doing, Hannah? Hi. He likes Hannah. Ago. And he likes Eva. Me, he's not too sure of. I'm going out to uh, put some uh, feed in the feeder. And then when I come back, if you have a minute, Melissa, I'm doing a video on why I like to get up early in the morning. So if you want to collect your thoughts, because you're an early riser as well, I'll do a little interview when I get back out here, okay? Okay. All right. See you, Ty. Ty. Archie's napping? Yeah. His timer for his dinner should be going off any minute. All right. What time is it? Almost four. Okay. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. See you, Ty. You going to wave? He waved earlier today. Wave. Wave. That hand's trying to come up. You going to wave? Now, the fourth reason that I like to get up early is it gives me a sense of accomplishment. You know, say it's 10 o'clock in the morning, you look back at your day so far, and I'm like, I got this done, that done, working on this, and it kind of energizes me and uh, motivates me for the rest of the day. So that's the fourth reason that I like to get up early.
Better hurry up. Starting to hear a little thunder. All right, got her filled up. That's uh, 600 pounds this Boss Buck feeder holds. Now the sun's trying to come back out again. I actually kind of wish it would rain a little bit. It's dry. Now I'm going to give you the fifth reason why I like to get up early in the morning. Then we're going to head over to the house, have a little chat with Melissa, and I have a little bonus item for you. But the fifth reason that I like to get up so early is uh, I don't have to rush around in the morning. I hate that feeling of being late. You run around, you forget things. When I get up early in the morning, I'm not all stressed. You know what I mean? I can just kind of ease into the day, but yet I can accomplish so much more by getting up early. That's the fifth reason. That uh, clover that I planted out here, it came up, but it kind of stalled out. I don't know if it's because of the shade or lack of rain or maybe a combination of the two. We'll see what it does later on this year. All right, we're back over here at the house now. Now, Melissa is going to tell us why she's a uh, morning person and what you like about getting up early in the morning. What do you think? Yeah, I believe it's life's biggest secret. Get up early. Get more done. Get in the habit of it. And you know what? I wish I would have done it for a better part of my life. I think I've been doing it for the last five, six years. Getting up for 420 and then uh, I can get more done before 10 o'clock than most people I know. But you know what I love? I've always wanted that me time. You know, I always wanted time just me, just my thoughts. I want to be able to write in my journal or I want to be able to read my scriptures or I want to be able to review this or work out. And guess what? The only way I was able to get that done was if I got up earlier. That's a secret to life right there. So there's Melissa's take on it. Now I told you when I was out in the woods, I had one more bonus item. I believe, and this is just my opinion, that when you get up real early, you're a happier person. And I have the data to back that up. See, uh, it's kind of funny, but every YouTube channel, you have a few haters. You know, there's a small percentage of people, no matter what you do, you never did anything to them. They just don't like you for some reason. And they'll hit that dislike button as soon as they see the video. Well, Which is like at noon. Yeah, it's always like from 11 o'clock in the morning on. We upload it, it's, it's pretty funny. So apparently haters are kind of layabouts and don't get up early. And I'm not saying everybody that doesn't get up early is a hater, but I can see it. There's a pa definitely a pattern there. When we upload at eight o'clock in the morning, there's never any dislikes until at least 11, 1130. And that's kind of, I think when they get out of bed, but uh, it's pretty funny, so. So that's actually a challenge. Any one of you that are clicking thumbs down or hating on yeah so you see all the thumbs this, down you if you see the thumbs down in this video that's how many people like to sleep in most of the day right yeah and i think it's a challenge to those it's pretty so funny so the haters might be starting to wake up early the next day yeah <laughs> get them out of bed yeah but i think that's about it but yeah, uh, yeah we're both morning people uh, melissa's been getting up early for about five years uh, I've been doing it longer than that, but before it was all because of my work schedule. Uh, you know, I don't know how I used to do that stuff. I don't. I would leave at uh, yeah. five in the morning, get home seven, eight o'clock every night. The job I have now is a lot different, but I still work a lot with the editing of the videos and everything we do with the channel and stuff. But uh, morning time is my good time. That's when I can focus. I'm clear. Yeah. Uh, I can really get things done. And it's, it's all downhill from there the rest of the day, but uh, yeah, right. no, but morning time is definitely a great time. So let us know in the comments, like I said, how many of you are morning people and uh, how many of you are like night owls. Now I did read somewhere, I don't know if this is true, but they said people that are night owls are really intelligent. I don't know if that's true or not. I kind of disagree because if they're so intelligent, they'd probably get up early in the morning. <laughs> that's the way I see it. But you know what? I think if you get try, if you want to convert to a morning person, try this. Do it one day, and what's going to happen is, like Mike says, as your day goes on, you're either going to want to nap or like finish your day early. Yeah. It, you're going to be driven to bed earlier. Yeah. Than usual, and then boom, you'll be able to do it the next day. Yep. So that's a suggestion. But I think that's about it. Uh, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button and uh, click subscribe. 
share them with your friends and uh, all that matters and we really appreciate it and uh, we'll see you on the next one.